Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, welcome back to my office. Uh, I'm gonna go over what I've picked up this week so far. Not a, not a lot. Um, went to a thrift store um, on Sunday before I went to work because that's my late day. I usually go to a thrift store before. Um, and then I went to McKay's today with Brian. I uh, got quite a few things. So I'm gonna go over that as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dive right on in. This is not gonna be a very long video. Um, I, I'm exhausted. I've been up since like one o'clock this morning. Yeah, so, all right, let's dive right in here. Uh, most of these are Blu-rays. Um, they got a lot of Blu-ray in and they moved all the Blu-ray to the video game section, which I thought was really strange, but it's okay. So, um, first up here is, uh, Mel Brooks, um, uh, a Mel Brooks film, uh, starring Gene Wilder and Peter Boyle. It is Young Frankenstein on Blu-ray. Um, you also get, um, co-stars Terry Garr, Marty Feldman, and, uh, Cloris Leachman. So, yeah. Um, I have seen this before, but it's been a very, very long time. So I would like to revisit this, especially in high def. Um, next one is a movie that you're probably going to think, why uh, why didn't he have it in this collection I had it before? I did on DVD, but I don't know where it is now, so now I have it on Blu-ray and it's here to stay. It is uh, David Spade and, and the very late Chris Farley on Tommy Boy. Uh, haven't seen this movie in a while, but... Um, I like it a lot. Uh, that and Black Sheep. Um, so you get obviously Chris Farley and David Spade, but you also get um, Bo Derek, uh, Brian uh, Dennehy, uh, Rob Lowe. Even though he's not, he's not really credited in here, uh, you also get Dan Aykroyd as well. It's an all-around good movie. Um, and then I got another one that's kind of an upgrade for me. It is Wayne's World on Blu-ray. Um, great cast. You get Mike My Michael My uh, Mike Myers, uh, Dana Carvey, uh, Rob Lowe again is in this one. Um, Tia, uh, what's that? I can't. I always butcher her last name. Kari, and you get uh, Donna Dixon, and you get cameo appearances from uh, Ed O'Neill, um, and among other people. So this is pretty cool. And now I just gotta find the second one. All right. Um, the next one here is a pickup that I did not do for myself. Um, I'm not really into this kind of stuff, but. Um, uh, I checked with Katie to see if she wanted it, and she did, so I went ahead and picked it up for her. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Wolf Children. Um, it's an anime uh, from 2012, I think. I think it's 2012. I don't remember, but it's almost two hours long, so I thought that was kind of cool, I guess. Um... Two DVDs and a Blu-ray. Um, first Blu-ray, I mean, the first the first DVD is the actual movie. The, the uh, second disc is all these special features, and then the Blu-ray has everything that the DVDs have together on one. So, I don't know. I don't know. Last one here is the original Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy with Alec Guinness. It's a three disc set. You get six episodes, two episodes per disc. Uh, this is from 1979. And you also get Ian Richardson, Michael Aldridge, Joss Auckland, uh, Ian B Bannon, Bernard Hepton, Terrence Brigby, Michael Jaston, Highwell Bennett, and Anthony B. Sorry, that was my neighbor being rude. Sorry. He likes to slam his door all the time. Alright, so yeah, 
There's that. I have never seen this one before. I think I may have seen the remake, like the movie adaptation, but I don't remember for sure. I, I know I have it in my collection. I just don't think I've actually watched it yet. That's everything from Blue Ridge Hospice Thrift over by my work. All right. Now, next up is Mickey's. They're all DVDs, though, but they're okay. That's okay. They're all mostly, most of them are just budget movies. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I'm not really going in any order. I'm just going in what the stack was. Um, it's one of the last ones I picked up because it was in the uh, budget section. Um, Lou Diamond Phillips and Sean Patrick Flannery in Lone Hero. This is the French-Canadian version, I think. Uh, wait. Yes, I think this is the French-Canadian version. Um, I've actually met Lou Diamond Phillips before, like in 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 passing. We didn't we we didn't really talk to him. We just in passing. He's at one of the conventions I went to. Um, but you also get you know Robert Forster, Tanya Allen, and Mark Metcalf in here with them. So looking forward to watching this one here. Never seen it before. Never heard of it. So there's that. Uh, I got some horror here because, you know, Halloween's right around the corner, you know. And this is, this, this is about the time of year where McKay's gets a lot of a lot more horror than they usually have. I um, got a uh, After Dark Horror Fest, eight films to die for. Uh, this is The Deaths of Ian Stone. This is a Dario Piana film. Here. Um... But I don't know what it's from 2008 but I don't yeah yeah never mind it's in English I thought I thought it was in like uh Italian or something but it's not it's in English um this is a Lions Gate release uh it's about an hour and a half long and it used to be 14.99 somewhere but I think it was like four bucks oh and uh Lone Hero is only like a dollar ninety-five, so I'm not really expecting much from that one. All right, now uh, next one here is an After Dark uh, original called Husk. Looks like it's about a scare. Is a scarecrow in the front with the crow. Um, I don't really recognize the cast though, but um, it's from 2011. It's 83 minutes. I can just read the synopsis for you here. Uh, when a murder of crows smashes into their car windshield, a group of young friends are forced to abandon the vehicle, leaving them stranded beside a desolate cornfield. Uh, hidden deep within the cornfield, they find a crumbling farmhouse, but they soon discover that instead of a sanctuary, the house is actually the center of a terrifying supernatural ritual that they are about to be become a part of. Mm, interesting. So, husk. Uh, next one here is not for me either. Um, it's for Katie. Uh, she was telling me that she wa that she wanted some more uh, Harrison Ford movies in her collection. So I, I picked up um, a movie called Regarding Henry. Uh, this one has Harrison Ford in it as well as um, Annette Annette Benning. Um. There's another guy in the back. I don't really, I don't recognize him though. But it doesn't say who he is though. Looks like Billy D. Williams, but I could be wrong. Um, I can look it up later. But, um, but the music was done by Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, Hans Zimmer. So yeah, regarding Henry. Uh, next one is another movie that was in the budget section. I don't know. I never heard of it before. Um, but it's got a good cast. Um, you got Jason Schwartzman, John Leguizamo, Mina Savari, Patrick Fugit, Peter Stormare, Brittany Murphy, and Mickey Rourke. It's called Spun. And it's a Jonas Ackerland film. Um, you also get... Um, Debbie Harry, you know, Blondie, she's in here too. 
and Peter Stormare. Like I think I already said his name though. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, plus the music was done by Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins, so that's pretty cool too. All right, well, I'm looking forward to this one now. It's, yeah, yeah, spun. Uh, next one here stars Sir Patrick Stewart with uh, Hector Elizondo and Kimberly Williams, with Safe House. Um, they had two copies of this, but I got the one that was in a better case, but the disc looks weird. The disc looks like it's fake, but it's not. It's actual, it's actual press disc. Um, this is like a... I don't know, it looks like kind of like a heist movie because everybody has a gun in the back. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> also co-stars Craig Shoemaker and Joy Kilpatrick. Uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, next one here has another great cast. Um, you get Rachel Lee Cook, Chris O'Donnell, Michael Rappaport, John Polito. Uh, and Jeremy Davies, uh, 29 Palms. Um, this is another, uh, let me read the synopsis here. Um, when an undercover FBI agent uncovers illegal gambling activities at an Indian casino, he goes on the run as the mob's best hitman is hired to take him out. And when he accidentally ends up with the hitman's bag of money, he really has nowhere to, to turn in, into the small town of Twenty Nine Palms. Uh, and this movie co-stars Keith David, Michael Lerner, Russell Means, and yeah, and that's it really. So, I don't know, it's an artisan release. Uh, next one here, looks like it's a classic, it's in the snapper case. Uh, Murder in the First with uh, Christian Slater, Kevin Bacon, and Garrett Oldman. Um, you also get Brad Dorif in here. Uh, you know, the guy that played Chucky uh, from the Child's Play franchise. Uh, William H. Macy is in here. And uh, so is R. Lee Ermey. So that was a pretty good cast, so that's pretty cool there. This is from 1995. But I never heard of it. I just came across it in the uh, the uh, budget section. Next one here is a classic that I did not have in the collection. It's another Michael Keaton film. Um, but yeah, it's starring Michael Keaton and the Fonz himself, Henry Winkler, and Shelley Long. Uh, music's by Burt Bacharach. It is Night Shift in the, you know, the snapper case. Um, this is directed by Ron Howard. That was pretty cool, too. So, yeah. Nice shift. I think I've seen it before, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, next one is another title that I've actually watched before, but it's been a very, very long time. Um, Danny DeVito is in this movie called Other People's Money. Um, you also get uh, Gregory Peck in here with uh, Penelope, Ann, the Penelope Ann Miller. Piper Laurie. Um, I think that's it. That's all they credit on the back here. But yeah, Danny DeVito is a really funny guy. I figured I'd get it. And the last title here is um, a 2014 film that stars Ryan Reynolds, um, Anna Kendrick, Jackie Weaver, and uh, Gemma Arterton. I don't know, I can't tell because there's a there's a Walmart sticker on the slipcover here. Um, it's called The Voices. So the, the tagline is, hearing voices can be murder. Um, pretty pretty decent cast here uh, with, the slip, with the slip here. Uh, I don't think the digital code is in here, though. Let me look. No, it's not. Okay. Let's go see if it was. I, I, I just flashed it on the screen and... Have one of you guys take it for me because I don't I, I don't do digital codes. All right, so yeah, that's everything that I have for you guys today. Might go out Friday after I get off work. We'll see. Uh, I usually go on Thursdays, but um, I got some 
got, got a guy coming over to look at some of the uh, electrical work here at the house. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna go look at a house, just just for spec, you know. Not really. Go look at just go look at it for spec. So, and I'm sure I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll let some of you guys know how that goes. But um, just for giggles, I'm gonna show what I got here. This is everything here that I got. Pass three days. Although I didn't get anything yesterday because I stayed home all day with the kids. So that's everything today. So uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll probably have another video here either later this week or next week. Alright guys, take care. Bye.